Well, here we are back in the garage. Uh, out of the blue, I uh, got a maintenance light and it completely goes to idle. You can run the throttle wide open and uh, nothing, just idles. So uh, I think what we'll do, we'll hook up the CanDo Pro, see what uh, maintenance or uh, fault codes we have and move forward from there. And this is, what year is this one? 2001 RXDI. Let's get into it. Skidoo. Looking for vehicle, put the tether on. We are plugged in to the diagnostic port. What do you bet? Rectifier again. Putting out too many bolts, bat bolt high. Bat bolt high, bat bolt very high. Forget the bat bolt low. Diagnostic cap, it's all bat bolt high. So, wow, look at this bat voltage 18. Monitor, okay, 1282. Uh, we need to see what that goes up to. Let me just see, is that the, mo no. Battery, way up. That's definitely what's going on. Monitor, 1282. Let's see what happens. Way up there already. Rectifier. Let's have a look and see which one I got in here. Let's do another test, but I'm sure that's correct. I'm gonna put an alligator clip on the positive lead and on the positive lead of a meter. I don't want to cause any shorts. Negative lead here. Or if I can ground it right to there. 1282. That goes much over 13. Hmm. Didn't seem horribly bad well let's uh let's do a swap and see what happens there she is i think i gotta take this plastic off let's pull that out quick <clears throat> 10 mil with an extension Not an extension, a deep socket. Oh, what the? Ha <laughs> ha. Battery or nothing. Tell me that isn't easier, guys. Let's see what the story is here. That's got a crappy paint job on it. I know that's one of those. Yeah, that's those. That's why these guys have taken them off their site. Uh, snow good. Let's see what else I got. There's an old one that I had, but it original just came out of a ski I gutted. We're gonna have to find a new supplier. Let's see what kind of crazy volts we get. There we go, 1279. Can't 
rev it up because I put the camera in the way. Now I can. Let's see if that's more reasonable. We'll take her for a test spin right now. I guess we should bolt it. Bolt it down first. What a job trying to get that in there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here we go. Is going on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Plastic vent. Plug. Oh, just about lost it. Diagnostic cap, or you got a maintenance light for sure. Now we're going for a test drive. I guess we should put the bucket back in, otherwise, we can get extra water in. That makes up the space to seal. Sometimes you get water in that bilge just from water coming up here through the front and going into the machine. And of course, we want a seat. Uh -huh. Now we're good to go. We're getting too excited. And back in the water.
we'll do a little bit of riding and see if it comes back. That's all we can do. Uh, as an update, here are the uh, different rectifiers that I tried. I did not try this one. <clears throat> these are these uh, Caltrack ones that has the crappy paint job. This was one that was in the uh, blue machine, which was giving me a, when I would rev it up every once in a while, it would give me um, a maintenance light and say bat high, but occasionally when I check the three legs, I don't know how many ohms I'm supposed to get. 1.2 thousand, 1 1.25, 1 1.26. That's out of the machine. This is the one of these Caltrack ones. One point four, one point six, one point six. Another Caltrack. One point six, one point six, one point six. That one said bat high on it, and it had one anomaly on one leg there. Uh, here's the one that I just bought on Amazon. Looks. No, it isn't. That's uh, another one out of a machine. 1.3, 1.3, 1 1.3. This one doesn't seem to put out any power at all at 1.3. Amazon. Must have a diode in there too, it only reads in one direction. 1.7, 1 1.7, 1.7 seems to be uh, much more consistent, higher resistance. So you tell me. The only one that I know that was close was this one at 1 1.2, but it was occasionally kicking out an error. And the one that was would not charge. Yeah, 1 1.3, 1 1.3, 1.3. 1 so you tell me, I don't know. What's good, what's bad? That's what I wanna know. And there she goes. Well, that turned out somewhat unexpected. Um, I put in a new rectifier on the machine. Uh, that was like the fourth or fifth one I tried, found a good one, and within 20 minutes of me getting that done, a guy showed up and bought it, it's gone. And then after that, someone came and bought the uh, jet boat, and that's gone. So now, I can start looking for uh, four-stroke machines, which is good. I sold the other two machines at uh, quite a discount, but the new ones are uh, inexpensive as well, so I think it all balances out in the end. So uh, stay tuned. We will have some kind of four-stroke thing going uh, hopefully shortly. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.